Well, I thought we would take just a couple of minutes and jump into the Wayback Machine. <laughs> um, not sure if anybody out there knows what the Wayback Machine is, but I guess you'd have to Google Mr. Peabody and Sherman. <laughs> it's of, of the era that I am of. So anyway, the Wayback Machine is like a time machine. But this is a uh, little cloth collage book that I thought I would share with you guys. Um, I made it back in 2004, hence the Wayback Machine. <laughs> but it has a nice feel to it. I just keep it, it, as you can see it's tiny, and I just keep it in this little shadow box here, hanging on my wall. It's been hanging on my wall quite a while, but I had a good time making it. Uh, it was um, a scripture that really meant a lot to me. And so I was inspired to make a little book, a little cloth collage book. I had never made a cloth collage book before. Of course, I did quilting and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd share this with you guys. Um, it's uh, got some antique buttons on it, as you can see. And uh, I, I stamped the, the scripture inside. I remember sitting on my bed, just um, working away on this piece. And <laughs> I made quite a few scripture books and called them remnants. I, it seemed appropriate, but I made a lot of them for friends and family. And I haven't seen this one in a long time, but I happened to see this when we moved my mother-in-law into assisted living. This was the book I made for her. And she loved the scripture and Psalms. And so I thought I'd make a little book for her. It was on her coffee table for years, but I'm showing you this fabric here because if I turn it over, you can see how much that fabric, which is the same one there, faded. <laughs> but it's pretty simple, very, very simple. But she enjoyed it. She couldn't take it with her, so I kept it for her. Guess I'll keep it always, but anyway. I thought you'd enjoy this little trip on the Wayback Machine, and and uh, yeah, if, if you don't know what the Wayback Machine is, Google Mr. Peabody and Sherman. You'd probably get a good laugh, but for me, we're going back to 2004, so I hope you enjoyed this. Bye, guys.